I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll talk about unit circle. With the help of a very good example, you can actually see this in your test paper also at times. The question here is, the terminal arm of an angle X in standard position intersects the unit circle in quadrant 4 at a point P square root 5 over 4 Y. Determine the value of sine of X. Now this statement has a lot of keywords, terminal arm, standard position, intersects a unit circle in quadrant 4, right? So we'll look into all these while answering the question, perfect? So let me begin by sketching a unit circle first. That means we're talking about a circle whose radius is one unit, right? So, so that's my circle and radius one unit, right? So that becomes the origin and that becomes my axis, correct? Now, when we say that, so that's a, we are saying that this length here is one. So that is a unit circle, is it right? Now we are saying the terminal arm of an angle X in standard position intersects the unit circle in quadrant four. So this is your quadrant four, correct? So that is a quadrant one, two, three, and four. Now the terminal arm intersects at quadrant four. It means what? That means the terminal arm is somewhere here. I mean, uh, now just Let's take it anyway. Let's not bother about the value for the time being. Somewhere here, right? So the value of x is this value. Standard position means you have to always go counterclockwise to get the value of x. You get the idea, right? That is the value of x. Now, this particular point P is given to you as square root of 5 over 4 y. This is what is given to you. You need to find sine of x. Right? You need to find sine of x. How will you find sine x? That is what you need to find. So I hope the question is clear. Well, to find sine x, what can we do? We have this triangle here, right? So, so sine of x is as good as equal to sine of 2 pi minus x, which is equal to minus sine x. I mean, the acute angle, you, you're understanding my point. Let's say this acute angle theta, right? So this acute angle theta, right? So minus sine theta, is that clear to you? Even otherwise, we are in quadrant four, right? You know the rule, you know the cost rule, correct? So all are positive here, sine is positive in quadrant two, tan in 3 and cosine in 4. So here we are expecting a negative value. Is that clear to you? One part. Negative value. So I'm putting that negative value, right? And that's my angle theta for us now. Is that okay? So I am writ written this as minus sine theta. Is that clear to you? Okay. Now, uh, another important thing here is, what is sine theta? In this particular triangle, we want to know the value of y, right? y over r will give us the value. What is the value of y? So to find this, what we can do is we can sketch this triangle separately. So I'm just sketching a bigger triangle here for you. Right, let's say much bigger, right? Okay. So where we know one thing for sure, which is unit circle means this is one, right? This is 90 degrees. And x value means square root 5 over 4 is this dimension. We need to find what y is. Clear? We can use Pythagorean theorem to find this y. 1 square minus that square, right? So from here, we can get y is equal to 1 square minus square root of 5 over 4 whole square. Clear? So that gives you a value of y as 1 minus 5 over 16 and that is 16 minus 5 over 16. This is y square, I'm sorry, y square, right? 16 
which is 11 over 16. So that is y square. So from here, what is the value of y? So y is equal to square root of 11 over square root of 16, which is which is 4. Since you are in quadrant 4, it is a negative value. Does it make sense to you? Right. So, so what we did here was that we did square root on both the sides. Is it okay? So that gave us y equals 2 minus square root 11 over 4. Correct. So from here, we can write down what is sine of this angle x. We can write sine of x. There was no need to do all this also, right? We could directly write sine of x. So sine of x basically is equal to what? Sine of x will be equal to, we are looking from this angle theta, right? y over 1, correct? Hypotenuse. So it's basically the y value. So it is y over 1 with a negative sign, of course, it is square root of 11 over 4. Does it make sense to you? So we get our answer, right? So this is one way of getting the answer. So we get sin x is equal to negative square root of 11 over 4. Now here, I would like you to see the alternate method also. And for that, I was saving some space here. Okay. Let me write down alternate method, which is much better. It's good to understand, right? Now, whenever you are given this quadrant in a unit circle, what will this be? Normally, it is basically equals to cos theta, in our case cos x, and sin x. Simple as that, right? So the value which you have here is cos x. So basically, we know what cos x is. Cos x is square root of 5 over 4. Now, what is sin x? Sin x will be equal to 1 minus cos square x square root right because sine square x plus cos square x is 1 since you are in quadrant 4 it has to be negative does it make sense so we get the value of sine x as negative of 1 minus square of this which is 5 over 16 do you see that straight away we get our answer which is negative 11 square root over 4. Do you see that? So you could have done the alternate method to immediately get your result. Key, key is that any point here, any point here is given as cos of that angle theta times sine of that theta, right? So any coordinate is cos theta sine theta if the angle is theta. Perfect. So in our case, cos theta is given to us. We need to find what sine theta is sin theta is 1 minus cos square theta square root. Since you are in quadrant 4, you have to take the negative value, right? So we get negative square root 11 over 4 as our answer. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve it. So I hope that helps.